Hey guys, today I have a video for you and it is going to be all about my natural deodorants. I had recorded this and I had it ready to go up and everything and then I tried a new deodorant so I had to totally delete it and start it over because I could not put this video up without telling you about this new one because it is the best. It's probably better than like store deodorants. So let me just get started by telling you I have within the past few months I've been on this like natural deodorant journey. The store deodorants like with the anti-press um, you know that's kind of a weird word anyways I decided I did not feel comfortable using them anymore I know that not everyone is like that some people really want their strong you know secret clinical strength deodorant every day that is just not me I was using the Donna Ka Karen cashmere mist for like really if I'm gonna be outside all day around people it's kind of like a backup you know for emergencies I since finished that up and I don't I don't have any other antiperspirants and I'm somebody I don't sweat really bad but where I live it's really hot and humid I mean it's a it's a hot place we're already like pushing the 90s so if I can get away with not using that kind of deodorant I think that says a lot everybody's different and I also notice the longer I go without using that kind of stuff my sweat doesn't smell as bad that's a little TMI but you know and I've read that that's one of the things too it's like once you get all those toxins and everything out of your system then you just don't stink the same so let's get started I have five here and I'm gonna go in order from least favorite to favorite first off and this I haven't even used this a lot it's the crystal body deodorant stick I picked up this at Whole Foods. It's a little trial size. It was $2 maybe. And I really wanted this to work because it's kind of like a classic. It's been around a really long time. And if you're not familiar with this, it is truly a stick. You get it wet and then you apply it. I used this one night before bed because I do put on something before I go to sleep because I don't sweat bad, but you know, you you'll smell you will smell not so fresh and I shower before bed anyways I used this one night before bed I woke up and I stunk so the next time I did it like I got it wet I applied it got it wet I applied it got it wet I applied it like a ton of times and it's it didn't work either and um this will smell it doesn't smell good so I have to say I'm not impressed now I may try this like under other natural deodorants that don't work as well in the summer to kind of layer and see if it will help. Ever since I found the new one, I don't really have that um, need. That's what I had said in the last video because we'll get to that. But um, I, I don't know. It's not impressive. Okay, the next one I picked up and it's by Kiss My Face. It's the Natural Liquid Rock. And it's like a liquid roll-on. Now, I think that this brand makes like a crystal roll-on, and I've never tried that. But I picked this up, and it's in the scent Cucumber Green Tea, and I have to say, it um, it's a roll-on. I like cucumber, and I like green tea, but this one, it smells like vegetables. Like, it smells like veggies, and when you sweat and it mixes with that, that is not what I want to smell like. I do not want to smell like a veggie. Now, I will say, with it being like this, okay, where I live is very hot. I am not exactly flat chested. And sometimes, like, you can get sweaty around your boobage area. So I do like this because it just kind of does that. I know it's a little TMI, but this is real life, so I'm just telling you. So I'll probably keep it and use it up for that aspect because it is pretty easy to use like that. And I've had this a long time and I still have a good bit left. Okay, my next favorite is the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant. This is just the vanilla grapefruit scent, which is not my favorite scent. I don't dislike it by any means. I like the vanilla. I like the vanilla coconut, the vanilla lavender. This is what it looks like. It's just a cream. And I really want to try the vanilla lemon. And um, 
it was I couldn't find it and then I saw it in Sephora the other day and they also have a summer scent that smelled pretty good um this was my favorite for a while and it's like 14 ish something like that but I didn't mind paying it if it would be a healthy deodorant and I still like this I've been applying this one at bed you know before night at nighttime before bed it works well but it does it kind of like it leaves you feeling a little wet for a while and I do have to reapply it which that is not you know the end of the world for me but it is a nice deodorant and it has none of the nasty chemicals okay the next one and this was my favorite in the video I had just filmed it is not completely chemical free it is the Alvira aloe and almonds all-natural roll-on deodorant that's the brand I had picked this up on Vitacost. It was under $3. And this was working so well. Like, so well. It is a roll-on, but it's kind of like a roll-on lotion. I don't know if you can tell. And it smells really good. Like a fresh almond. And um, when it dries down, it kind of dries down a little baby powderish, which wasn't bad either. But I found out that it does have... A little bit of aluminum in it I think just a I mean it's um it's called Allen Toen Allen Toen um, I don't know how much it's just a trace amount so it's a better option for you than like the general you know like drugstore secret and all that kind of stuff with all the real strong chemicals it's a lot less bad and it was working great and that's probably why but I still was not completely happy with this because I wanted to get something completely aluminum free so I have this I liked it but then I found on Instagram I forget how I found it but somebody had posted this and I went to their Instagram and Alicia Silverstone who's really into like natural stuff and everything something was posted that this was her favorite so I was like you know what I'm just gonna give it a try and it's the Schmitz brand deodorant and I got the scent lavender sage and it comes in this jar it is a two ounce jar with this little spatula because it is like a solid how would you describe that like a solid butter kind of and you use your little spatula to scrape a certain amount out like a pea size amount and you put it in your hand and you rub it together and it's kind of like um it's a baking soda paste a baking soda base so it's kind of like a baking soda like i don't want to say greasy but it has some like oils in it paste and you have to rub it on your that's the only downside is you have to do that and i bought like some little cosmetic sponges i thought i could rub it on with but that doesn't work because you have to do it with your hands and then it's like on your hands and if you got the sponge it just wouldn't transfer well so that's the only thing but in my mind I was thinking that will add like minutes onto my routine but it's like you do you scoop it out you do this you wash your hands I mean it's as easy to use as something like this quite honestly and I got the lavender sage scent and on their website there are a few other scents there's a lime bergamot a ylang ylang and calendula um, there's an unscented and there might be one other and it tells you all the scents what it does in this one for example it says this all natural formula effectively neuter neutralizes underarm odor and absorbs wetness aluminum free propylene got glycol free paraben free and phthalate free sorry if I butchered any of that and the ingredients are shea butter baking soda arrowroot, cocoa, clary sage, lavender, vitamin E, and hop extract. This, I may not know exactly what hop extract is, but it's all things you can say. It's not like, you know, on regular ones, they have all these crazy kind of chemicals. And, you know, it's like it has antibacterial properties and stuff like that because of the different essential oils and whatever. And I guess because it's the baking soda is what keeps it absorbent, I'm not really sure how. But I've worn this every day for a week now. One day I worked out in my garage and it's really hot. I didn't sweat a lot, 
but I didn't stink at all. I applied it like 8 a.m. and by the end of the day, I didn't even stink. And that says a lot because even like with the, your traditional deodorants, sometimes by the end of the day, if you don't reapply, you will kind of smell funky. I hadn't reapplied. Um, we had some cooler days recently. I went on walks. I didn't smell. I didn't sweat. The past few days, we went to the park and sat outside for like three hours in 90 degree heat. And I was only like barely sweaty. The sweating, it's kind of hard to get used to because you're used to not sweating with antiperspirants. But if I don't stink, then that's like, I mean, I can't ask for more. And I have turned my, two of my friends onto this and they are happy with it. And they had, one was using the La Vanilla before and the other one, she was really having a hard time finding a natural deodorant that she could get to work for her. And it's Schmitz. I ordered from their website, but I also know that it is on Amazon for Prime for, I think, $10. And this was $9.99 and I had to pay shipping. So it ended up being about $13. But I will probably order from Amazon from here on out. So I cannot say enough about this. And as far as the scent, lavender, sage, I smell both. So the lavender does not overpower the sage. And I really like it. I do want to try the lavender, I mean the, um, bergamot lime next and that's the only other scent that was really you know interesting to me but I will leave all the names of the deodorants down below for you guys if you know you're interested in trying any of them this one is so worth it but if you want something you can access easily then the la vanilla is still good but I'm just I'm pleased with this at first I was like gosh I'm not gonna be able to travel with this or anything I will not go anywhere else without this however for like boob area I will probably continue to use this because it is a lot easier I wouldn't want to fool with doing this probably so I hope you guys enjoyed it um I know especially if you're into natural products it's really hard to find a good deodorant it is really really hard and I think my search is over I can't imagine I'm going to be trying any more because I'm so pleased with that so that is all and I will talk to you guys later bye